All right, we're back. We're going to talk just a bit about Piaget's second stage, which is the pre-operational stage. It lasts from about age two to age seven. Uh, during this stage, children are going to represent their world with words, images, and drawing. So we've kind of moved beyond just experiencing the world through senses. We're now representing the world with words, images, and drawings. So language is going to be a big part of this stage and the development of that. Uh, during this stage, children are going to be able to form stable concepts. They're going to be able to start reasoning uh, on some level. Uh, but their, their cognitions, their thoughts, they're going to be dominated by egocentrism and magical beliefs. We'll talk just a, in a minute about what those, uh, what those are. Uh, children during this stage do not yet perform operations. Our operations are defined as reversible mental actions, and so children aren't yet uh, performing those, hence the term pre-operational stage uh, for Piaget. The pre-operational stage has two Substages. The first is the symbolic function substage. The second is the intuitive thought substage. In the symbolic function substage, which lasts from about age two to four, children are going to gain the ability to mentally represent objects uh, that are not present. Okay, so there's two important limitations to this. The first is egocentrism. Uh, that's the inability that a child has to distinguish their own perspective from someone else's. And we're going to show that in another video. Uh, you'll see the mountain task. You can also read about that in your chapter. And you also see a slide uh, about that in the PowerPoint as well. Second limitation to the symbolic function substage is animism, which is the belief that children have that inanimate objects have lifelike qualities and that they are capable of action. The second substage in the pre-operational stage is intuitive thought. The intuitive thought substage lasts from about age four to age seven. And during this stage, children are going to gain the ability to use primitive reasoning, and they really want to know the answers to questions. They're going to ask the question, why, a lot. That why question uh, isn't just something annoying that children do. The why question really signifies an interest in reasoning. Now, there's two important limitations to this substage as well. The first is the term cent centration, the concept of centration. This is centering attention on one characteristic to the exclusion of all others. The second is conservation. This is uh, knowing that altering a substance appearance does not change its basic properties. And you're going to see some examples of centration and conservation in uh, the following videos as well. So I would encourage you to watch those uh, and get a better idea of what all of these terms mean. I will be back tomorrow to talk about socio-emotional development in early childhood. Don't forget to go take your quiz on chapter five and I'll see you back here tomorrow on Thursday. Have a great day.